you know, my, my pursuit of, of AI began with, uh, with computer vision, kind of the end of the 80s, middle 90s. At the time, there, was, well, there were significant uh, questions, but, you know, very few answers, very modest uh, success. Pattern recognition, which today is experiencing a huge uh, success, was far away from anything uh, useful. So the focus from, from the academic point of view, the focus shifted to a uh, multiple view geometry, understanding motion, understanding how to reconstruct three dimension from, from 2D. That was the focus of my doctoral uh, studies and postdoctoral uh, studies at MIT. And even my first uh, startup, Cognitance, in the mid nineties was focused on reconstructing 3D from, uh, from 2D. So somewhere early in the mid nineties, a shift occurred towards data-driven methods. Uh, this is known as machine learning, and the spark came from Adaboost and uh, Support Vector Machines, SVMs. So machine learning brought with it a glimmer of hope that pattern recognition could become useful. Now, my second startup, Mobili, was founded on that uh, premise. So in 2008, for example, after eight years of development, we began releasing driving assist products that detect vehicles, traffic signs, pedestrians, at uh, high volume and safety critical applications like uh, automatic emergency braking, forward collision warning. In 2010, I co-founded Orcam, the first device performing uh, uh, OCR, optical character recognition, text in the wild, pattern recognition, all in real time for the blind and visually impaired, and that was released in 2013. Now, my academic research during this machine learning period was focused on tensor decomposition techniques for image coding and uh, message passing algorithms for uh, graphical models. All of that in the attempt to model integrate and complex relations among pixels and regions and image and sequence of uh, images. And then from 2012 to 14, the next big transformation occurred a transformation that created a huge uh, impact on the usability of machine learning. It's a, a new age of uh, deep network has, uh, has emerged. Pattern recognition with performance levels exceeding human, per, human performance uh, became, became achievable. So at Mobileye, this was the time we began thinking that autonomous driving can be a realistic uh, pursuit. The requirements on perception, interpreting the visual data coming from multiple cameras, 360 degrees around the car. Now those, those are, are tremendous. Kind of the level of details and the very high accuracy demands would have made this unrealistic, an unrealistic pursuit in the pre-deep networks uh, period. So now my academic research also took a sharp turn. The success of deep networks, you know, they raised a lot of questions. You know, the mystery of what makes them work far exceeded our theoretical understanding. So uh, armed with incredibly talented student, and I, I would say as a side note, that throughout my career, I had a great fortune to be surrounded by great minds, by geniuses, both students and, and, and colleagues. So we published a series of papers tackling each mystery one at a time. The first and most interesting is why depth in deep networks matters, because it is known that a shallow network, if it is wide enough, can represent any, any function. So why depth matters. Later, we found uh, connections and equivalents of sorts to tensor networks used to model many particle quantum systems and published a number of papers in theoretical physics uh, journals. At ORCAM, DeepNet expanded the device to include natural language processing and uh, recently solved the cocktail party problem for hearing disabilities. So it's a network that receives video and sound of many people talking and separates the sound only from one speaker. Uh, going back to uh, Mobileye, together with my colleague and CTO of Mobileye, Shai Shalev Schwartz, Professor Shai Shalev Schwartz, we embarked on research on reinforcement learning for driving policy and formal models on safety, safety guarantees. The result of that research is at the basis of a worldwide standardization effort for regulatory certainty to enable autonomous driving. Now, more recently, the new frontier of AI is language understanding. New types of uh, deep networks called transformers are creating a revolution with applications ranging from machine translation, reading comprehension, text generation. And my academic research shifted again with papers focusing on NLU, natural language understanding, and deep net uh, architectures that support uh, a language. And a year and a half ago, I co-founded uh, AI21, uh, focusing on the promise of, uh, of language. 
We recently launched a text generation product called the Wordtune, which is the first step transforming the experience of writing, uh, writing text. Finally, I would like to see AI make an impact in the banking uh, domain. I founded a digital bank in Israel. Today, it has more than 100 employees, very talented employees. And if it all goes well, we will launch towards the end of next year. I believe the promise of AI can create wonders to the user experience and help save a lot of money for, to the public. Thank you.